this is going to be the part one of competitive exam preparations on electronics uh, competitive examination so so let us first see the questions you can see the questions on the screen and i'll be explaining uh with the uh you know answers uh yeah so the first question is what is digital electronics so basically in this video we'll be covering mostly digital electronics questions okay so if you are having some preferences <coughs> So if you are having some preferences, like if you want to see some other uh, subjects or its preparations, please mention that in the comment section. We'll be doing it. Okay. So let us first see the question uh, on digital electronics. The first question is, what is digital electronics? A field of uh, option A, a field of electronics involving the study of digital signal. B, engineering of devices that digital signal. Uh, C, engineering of devices that produce digital signal. D, all the mentioned. Uh, okay, so here the correct answer is all of the mentioned because digital electronics is uh, any branch uh, you can say which deals with digital signals. Okay, so if you are dealing with digital signals, then that is called digital electronics. Something uh, which is like the equipments that create digital elect uh, uh, signals or uh, that uses digital signals or even the study of uh digital signals we can say it is digital electronics something related with uh, some uh, electronics equipment and that either uses or produces digital signal is called digital electronics okay so the correct answer is option d where you can say it is all of the mentioned okay now next question is so the first question was a very basic question only uh and the second question is regarding some terminologies that we use in digital electronics. The question is, what is a circuit? Okay. So, the question is, what is a circuit? A, open loop through which electrons can pass. So, is the open loop called an uh, circuit? Or B, closed loop through which electrons can pass. C, closed loop through which neutrons pass. D, none of the mention. Very simply, we can say it is a closed loop through which the electrons will pass so if it is an electron if it pass through this closed loop we can say it as a circuit so the correct answer is option a a circuit is a closed loop through which electrons can pass electrical energy is provided in the circuit by use of electricity such as battery okay so you can say uh, like a battery is used uh, and it provides the uh, electricity or a source and it creates you know some electrons are there and it passes in a closed loop means it is called a circuit okay so the correct answer is closed loop through which electrons pass not not neutrons okay that is the second question let us move to the third question you can see the question on screen which of the following is the type of digital logic circuit okay so these are some basic questions of digital electronics it's not complicated First question, sorry, first option, combinational logic circuit, B, sequential logic circuit, C, both combinational and sequential, D, none of this. Now, let us explain what is a combinational uh, logic circuit and what is a sequential one. Okay, so combinational one means there is some set of inputs. So, these are inputs and you get output. Okay, so this is input and this is output. So, this is called a combinational one. Combinational, okay. Yes. Now, what is a sequential one and how is it different? So, this is a sequential one in which there is input. Obviously, there need to be inputs, right? Then there is output. And there is another one, single thing, one more thing, which is called state. You can say this is state or memory. And this one is sequential. One. Okay. So, if you don't know what is a sequential one and a combination one, a combinational one plus a state or a memory is called sequential. So, this is, you can say, a little bit progressed version of the combinational one. Okay. So, that is a sequential one. In the sequential one, the output not only depends on the input, but also on the state, current state or present state. It depends. Or you can say it depends on the memory. Okay, you can say this as a memory or a state. It also depends on the state and the input. That is output depends on input and the state. But in case of combinational one, it only depends on 
uh, inputs whatever inputs combination is giving it will produce the output now what can be the example of combinational one you can say mux d mux then half adder these are examples okay now here this one is flip flops are sequential ones because it depends on the memory also of the state okay so these are examples of combinational and sequential you can also have other examples so just basic uh, examples and basic difference is this now what are digital logic circuits this both that is combination and sequence it both comes under the digital circuits only so correct answer is c both combination and sequential okay now let us move on to the next question okay actually my board was been using i mean my daughter was using my board even for playing because i was not using this for quite a few years you can say so it has been in a little not in a good condition i'm trying to fix it somehow okay let's let's go and see the fourth question okay question you can see on the screen what characteristics of ic in digital circuit represent function of switching time of a particular transistor that is what characteristics of ic in digital circuit represents the function of switching time what is switching time how it is been uh, represented fan in fan out option a fan out option b fan in option c power dissipation option d power uh, propagation delay fan out and fan in it is basically the number of uh, inputs uh, or the number of outputs those things are represented with fan in and fan out but the uh, switching time of the transistor is represented as propagation delay okay it is called the propagation delay okay correct answer is option d which is the propagation delay the propagation delay is the parameter which is affected getting affected or it is represented in terms of the switching time for the transistor for undergo switching for various states it requires some time or there is a time so that is represented as propagation delay so propagation delay represents the function of switching time of a transistor or a mosfet okay next question next two questions is connected with the d flip flops okay let us see what is the question the first question is what will be the output from a d flip flop if the clock is low and d is equal to 0 so before that if you don't know about a d flip flop let me just tell you that d flip flop is a very basic kind of a flip flop in which there is a a uh, d signal and then there is a you can say a clock there is also other representations in which s r everything is there then there is a q then there is a q bar q bar means the toggle of that so this can be represented as a d flip flop this is a very simple representation now uh here based on the clock okay based on whatever signal or rising or you know lower edge of the clock non rising edge of the clock q next or q can get affected so if clock is rising and if zero is being given the q will take whatever out whatever input we are giving in d it will pass on to q okay and q bar will be toggle of that we won't consider we, we are not considering that right now but based on the clock well if the clock is rising then whatever d input is given output will be same and if clock is again rising if you are giving 1 to d output will be again same as the d value now if clock is uh not rising like this if you are representing okay then whatever be the value of d output will remain the previous state q previous okay so like this you can say so if clock is up or clock is rising 
if you are giving some inputs to D means that will be the same as output. But if the clock is not rising, whatever be the D value, Q will be the previous value only. Okay. Now, based on this knowledge, let us try to answer the first one. First question. Like the first question on D. So, the question is asking what will be the value uh, from D from a D flip flop means what will be the Q next value if the clock is low means the clock is down clock is down and D value is equal to 0 options is 0 B1 C no change D toggle correct answer is C no change because whatever be the value on D the output will be the previous value only if the clock is low okay correct answer is C same question same type of question is next question where what will be the output from a D flip-flop if D is equal to 1 and clock is low. Again clock is low. So options A no change, B toggle between 0 and 1, C 0, D 1. Correct answer is no change. Okay. So whenever clock is not rising or clock is down. Okay. Then the value will not uh, means the value will be the same the output won't change okay next question that is the last question for today's video we'll be definitely doing more of this series and in that we'll be discussing more questions okay so the question is what is a group of four cells in a k map called option a pair option b quad option c octet option d octave correct answer is quad so if you draw a uh, flip-flop sorry uh, if you draw a k map like this so this is a four variable k map okay so if you are drawing a k map like this how will you represent the variables in a k map okay so i'm going to divide this four rows and four columns two three four one two three four okay so i'm going to uh draw a four variable k map in which i am going to draw the values here like this will be 0 0 this is 0 1 this is 1 1 1 0 like that you will represent 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right and the positions are 0 1 3 2 right then 4 5 7 6 then after that, 8, 9, 11, 10, right? Then this one is 12, 13, 15, and 14, right? So now if I'm going to put like, if I have like ones here in one, these two, 5 and 7, if I have one, and if I'm going to pair these two, it's called a pair. Just like we say normally, this is called a pair, okay? And if there is four ones, we can actually group these four ones, right? And it is called a quad. This is a quad. Okay. And if there is eight cells, and if you are going to group the eight cells, it is called octet. Okay. So pair, quad and octet. So the correct answer for the question here is going to be option B, quad. If you want to learn more about KMAP, we have like two separate videos on KMAP. Please go and watch those videos. Actually, there is a lot of resources on electronics related topics in our channel. And most of them has very less views. And I'm obvious that you have not watched it. Please watch those videos. It will be definitely useful. So that's all for today's video. We'll be coming back soon with another uh, part of competitive examination preparation of electronics related competitive exams like VSSC technical assistant or ISRO technical assistant. Please watch those videos. Please support the channel. Thanks for watching. Keep on watching.